but we still have an intermediary with video. Now the south bridge component in motherboards has been pretty steadily steady in its functions for many years now. We have connections to things like audio, we have all of our hard disk, our serial uh, ATA or parallel ATA connections in some cases. Uh, we have a USB, this particular chipset supports 12 you know, USB ports. We have uh, PCI Express bus slots, these are the slots other than video. Uh, that you would plug cards into. We have things like uh, Ethernet controllers, the motherboard ROM. All of those devices are connected directly to the south bridge. Then data has to travel from the south bridge to the north bridge and from the north bridge to the processor. Well, more recently, uh, also in some of the Intel Core i series uh, uh, processors, they've eliminated not only the memory controller, but eliminated the entire North Bridge completely and gone to a, a, a two chip design where we have the processor and a single chip chipset. Now they simply call this the platform controller hub. Um, it's basically the South Bridge uh, because the North Bridge has been taken away. So this, this chip does all the same functions as the South Bridge did in, in other motherboard designs. But now what we have in the certain models of the i-series processors, we have not only the memory uh, connection, again our memory modules will be connected directly to the processor, but we also have the video connection and that's interesting. By building the video connection into the processor, Intel will be able to sell processors with built-in video, as well as still have slots on the motherboard where you can plug video in. So Intel is getting into the video uh, game even more strong than ever. Instead of having the video built into their chipsets, it's now being built into their processor. So um, not, all, not all of the processors, but some of the models. In particular, some of the lower end models will have uh, video built in. So um, that's an example of some of what's going on in the you know, motherboard and uh, uh, chipset area, area. And as I mentioned also, the processors are now having uh, level three cache built in instead of just level one and level two. The other thing that's happening is the technology is becoming more tightly packed. We have processors that have gone from 65 nanometer uh, spacing down to 45 nanometer spacing and now down to 32 nanometer spacing. So we're able to pack more and more transistors into less and less space. Now, what are they doing with the, are they making the chips smaller? No, actually what they're doing is this is where we have the ability to have the cache. The level three cache was made possible because the rest of the components in the processor became so much smaller. So. Uh, to summarize, what we've got here is the migration of the memory controller into the processor itself. That's, uh, that's been happening in both uh, AMD and Intel. And in some of the latest Intel processors, the video interface being migrated directly into the processor. And also, all of the new processors have level 3 cache. Finally, another thing to say is that processors have been adding more and more cores. You know, it used to be all processors were single core. Then we had dual core processors, then uh, quad core processors, four core. Now we have up to six core processors coming, and uh, quad core is kind of becoming mainstream. In fact, I, I wouldn't even consider a single core uh, processor for a system anymore unless it was a special low cost or a very simple, uh, simple need system. Dual core has kind of become the basic, and quad core is even and become mainstream. So these have been some of the uh, you know advance advancements in both motherboards and uh, pro processors and chipsets over the last few years. Hi, I'm Scott Mueller. Welcome to the video for the 19th edition of Upgrading and Repairing PCs. This new edition represents a landmark 20th anniversary since the book first came out, making it both the longest running and most popular PC hardware book in the world. I would like to say a special thanks to all of my loyal readers, and I hope to continue working on all of the books and videos in the Upgrading and Repairing series for the next 20 years.